Today in Taiwan, among many countries, we are celebrating an equivalent to Valentine's Day. In Chinese, it is known as Qi Xi Jie or Double Seven, which means that it is the seventh evening of the seventh month in the lunar calendar. Now, the folktale associated with this holiday is, as you might guess, one of the four great Chinese love stories, and it's called The Cowherd and the Weaver Girl, or in Chinese, Niu Lang Zhi Nu. Once upon a time, there was a lonely cowherd with no one for a companion except for his faithful ox. Now, one day he stumbled upon a beautiful woman bathing in a lake, and he fell madly in love with her. However, he didn't exactly know how to proceed in courting her. He was at this point surprised to hear the ox actually advising him. Uh, giving him the hint that you know if you wish to take her for your bride, then all you have to do is hide her dress, and so that's what the cowherd did. Yeah, that's creepy. Now the woman at this point had no choice but to marry the cowherd, and the reason for this was actually more logistical because the woman was no ordinary woman. She was actually a heavenly weaver fairy who came from the heavens down to earth for one day, and it was her dress actually that was woven from rainbows and clouds that helped her travel between. Uh, heaven and earth quickly. So unable to return home, she settled down with the cowherd, who luckily for her turned out to be、um, a decent guy. You know, stealing her dress aside, and she fell in love and lived a contented life with her husband and eventually、uh, two small children. Now, as the years passed here on earth, actually only a single day had elapsed in heaven, and at this point, the goddess of heaven noticed、uh, the missing weaver girl and discovered that her missing attendant had. Uh, ended up marrying a mere mortal and abandoned her duties. And she was so angered by this breach of trust that she sent her soldiers down、um, to bring the missing weaver girl back. With his wife gone and their children missing their mother, the cowherd、uh, didn't know what to do until his companion, the ox, again advised him that he should slaughter the ox and make a basket from its hide, which would then、um, magically carry them up to the heavens. Now the cowherd did as he was told, and as promised, the now dead ox's hide turned magical flying basket carried the cowherd and his two children up into the sky, and they were on the point of catching up to the weaver girl、uh, when the goddess of heaven noticed, and so she angrily yanked a hairpin out of her head and slashed the sky between them, opening up a river of stars that、uh, we now call the Milky Way. Seeing the couple's sadness and their divided family, a flock of magpies、uh, flew into the sky, forming a footbridge that allowed the cowherd and the weaver girl to come together across this river at last. The goddess of heaven was so moved by the scene that she took pity on the couple and determined that one night out of the year, on the seventh evening of the seventh month, she would allow the couple to reunite once more. And this is precisely when we see two stars, Vega and Altar, come together in the sky. In some versions of the story, the Weaver Girl is actually one of seven sisters,、uh, who ultimately draws the short straw and is left to bargain the sisters' clothes from the cowherd who had stolen their entire wardrobe. In later versions, it is actually the Weaver Girl who first spies the young cowherd, and having fallen in love, she disguises herself as a mortal in order to be with him. Now, I think this、uh, reflects the flexibility of folk tales to adapt to cultural expectations and values of their time. According to many traditional societies, you know, the first version would、uh, be more about the vir woman's virtue as being the only thing worth preserving, and a woman is not independent of her father, her husband, or her children, and and without agency, her preferences and opinions are worthless. The Weaver Girl really had、um, no choice in the matter but to marry the cowherd. But this changes in later retellings,、um, where she actually is the instigator of the entire story. You know, she sees the cowherd first and purposefully places herself in the path of an unwitting mortal. I'm not particularly satisfied with either version right now because, in both cases, it just seems like one party holds all the cards and、uh, the other really doesn't have much to say in the matter. Another interesting perspective is just how laughably powerless the cowherd is to act. At both critical points in the folk tale, the cowherd relies on a mystical animal spirit in the form of his ox to guide him on what to do. You know, first to steal the weaver girl's dress, and secondly to make a, this magical basket from its hide. And it makes one realize that perhaps as mortals,、uh, we might appear to be one of the main characters in the story, but in reality, we are simply you know little pawns being moved about. The board by far more powerful forces at play.
In the end, however, we come to a common thread in many love stories in Asian folklore from the Taiwanese indigenous stories that um, I'll link to in this video and share in the description below to you know, another of the four great love stories, which is the legend of the white snake, which you can watch here. And that is the difficulty for couples to stay together when they disrupt the natural order of the universe. And that is when they try to cross the divide between the spirit world and the world of the living. So if you liked watching this video, do go ahead and hit that like button so that I know to record more of these chats and of course, do subscribe so that you never miss a video. Until next time, thanks for watching.